Welcome back, 0K fans, to Nana Blades of Dawn. I remain Shadow Fury 333, your host, and we're now going to have another match between Marquis and North Chilean G on Iceland, which should hopefully run a lot better than the map on Rapids, or match on Rapids. So, Iceland's match, wi or map. Ugh. Iceland is a map, which is fairly big, as you can see. Fairly large, full of metal, just metal everywhere. And. Mostly clustered, really. So, people typically will start out their main base, of course. Usually expand over to the northeast or to the southwest, which is fairly protected. And then, oftentimes, go along the edge of the map with units trying to take the center. Take the center, sorry. North Chilean G going for a Blastwing attack very early on, which has been nerfed, actually. And Marquis with shield bots. So, the Blastwings have been nerfed. They just shoot fireballs now. It will take out these metal extractors fairly effectively. But it's not as problematic as it used to be. Not necessarily lovely to be inside, but it's not like before where they basically just explode and you can do anything about it. All these opening dirtbags are doing a great job of distracting the Blastwings and causing them to die unnecessarily, which is really good for Mark Eves. Not so good for North Chilean G, mind you. So Mark Eves starting out in a pretty good position, I'd say, right now. North Chilean G, on the other hand, is not quite so lucky, though able to take out... Is he going to take out the Convict? Looks like I might be able to. Are right, managing to apparently get through the shields completely. Yeah, not full shields and heavily damaged, but not dead. Convict put itself out quickly enough. It's not a big deal. These Blastwings being a pain in the butt. Pretty much just there just to harass a little bit. The Banshees are the real story. What the heck is in here? Okay, I'm not sure what they're trying to blow up over here, but it looks like that was probably a mistake. Marky's fully aware that the... Did that dirtbag just explode in a fire? Oh, no, the blasting was on top of it. Like, was there a bug with the bla with the dirtbags now exploding with fire? Who did that? What's going on? No, never mind. We're good. It's fine. Panic for nothing. Okay, so, as I was saying, Marky's is... Probably in a better position. They have their anti-air set up. The Banshees are... Banshees are a tricky unit, though. They have a lot of health. Like, 850 health for an air unit is fairly high. Vandals deal 72 damage a shot. 36 damage a second. It'll take them 10 seconds for a single Vandal... Sorry, not 10 seconds. It'll take, like, 25 seconds for a single Vandal to take out a Banshee. In that time, the Banshee's gonna be dealing... Well, 62 damage per second. But there is enough. So that ban One Banshee's turned away... Yeah, Banshees are a little bit weird. Fighting them almost requires using a bit more in the way of anti-riot, anti-ground forces like Stardusts than it does things like Razors. So they aren't the most straightforward to fight, but they are things you basically have to fight as if they were Raiders. More than anything else. But yeah, it looks like Mark Eves is well set up enough with the Vandals to be able to not have to worry about too much. And that Vandal... It looks like the Vandal's guarding the Convict, as it should. It's a good Vandal. Yeah, this is where the problem comes in. This Banshee is pretty much unopposed right now. There's not much to deal with it. Now, for Shield Bots, Vandals are the best option, I think. Outlaws wouldn't have enough range to be worth it. So, yeah, Vandals are a good idea. I don't think what else you'd really have, but there's not much. Bandits will work okay. So, this force of Bandits and Vandals will work fairly well as an Assault Force. Although, to be fair, there's not much to actually oppose them. It's like one Lotus, and that's it. North Chilean G is actually fairly open right now. I think they were expecting that pressure to be far stronger than it actually was. So, right now, Mark Eves is in a very nice spot, though they are probably over-investing into Antier. Hey, they need to have something to do assault with, but hey. Bandit's got free reign on this gunship plan. Like, seriously, the gunship plan's almost dead. It's locked down. And if the Banshees try to save it, coming in here, they'll get hit by the Vandals. They should be able to kill the Vandals, but yeah, these cranes, looks like they're going off trying to build up an emergency factory. No, emergency metal extractor, not emergency factory. Not what I expected at all. But at this point, North Chilean G getting up an emergency Lotus, which should save it. Ooh, no. Got distracted and got blocked up in line of sight, but just managed to save it. However, that gunship plant is still locked down by the Vandals. Or Yeah, it's still locked down by the Vandals. Vandal's still in range, and North Chilean G doesn't even realize they're there. Well, I mean, they should they realize they're there, but they can't see them right now. They can't easily deal with them. So yeah, they're locked down right now. 
And Vandal's in the main base, preventing any Banshee counterattack. Nicely getting rid of one of the Banshees outright, completely. So Marquis at this point, all they have is this one bit of safe economy, but otherwise, they are really open right now. Actually, re okay, outright reclaiming the gunship plant. No, that's not, what? Are they reclaiming the gunship plant or what? That must have been a, that was a misclick. Okay, never mind. I thought, are they reclaiming that just to build another factory? That's not how you usually do it. That's really unusual, but that's, my suspicions were correct. That, that wasn't what they were planning on doing at all. But at this point, they will want to build another factory, unless the caretaker... Is it going to be used for that purpose? No, just to repair. Okay, there we go. There's the factory. That makes more sense, because... I mean, the gunship plant... It's done. It's totally done. But North Chilean G was able to use that for the cranes to get a lot of economy. At this point, their economy is 5-ish metal per second stronger than Markeev's. Or Markeev's. And Markeev's... Not really switching that much to anti-ground yet. I have a couple roaches, but that's not necessary yet. There isn't a crowd of ground units that they have to deal with. However, that will be useful in the future. It's just, I think, a little bit strange. Now, is Marquis aware of the... Co no, Marquis is not aware of the Clokebot factor. They don't know that there's a fact switch. They're probably guessing there is. I mean, they can see the gunship plant. They can see that the gunship plant isn't building anything. So they make the rather reasonable assumption that it's no longer being used. And it isn't. Like, the gunship plant is no longer a thing. As Marquis... Oh! Oh! I see what Marquis is doing. That's clever. Marquis is setting up a sneaky... Well, sneaky peek to get an eraser. And basically just going to be rushing in cloaked roaches. Just roach bombing with cloaked roaches. Oh, it looks like... Not quite as locked down as they thought, so Marquis will have to worry... No, never mind, it's still locked down. Okay, North Chilean G just giving up. That wasn't a loss of a unit, they just kind of gave up on it. Why are they going for anti-air? This is really weird. Marquis has not built an air factory yet. Nothing they've done suggests that anti-air is a thing that matters. The Gremlin, I guess, could be used for scouting. Oh, and those ban... Those... Did they see it? Did they see it? They saw it! Okay, so Marquis now aware of the Clokebot factory. They're aware of what they had to deal with somewhat. Hey, they're using the circle guard function. So they're aware of what they have. They have the eraser, they have the roaches. The roaches are not... They have a weird guard chain on the roaches that's causing them to not follow the eraser when they should. There we go. Now it's correct. Guard that eraser. So at this point, sneaky... Very sneaky damage coming in here. Nothing that North Chilean G has will be able to scout this out quickly enough. The Gremlins might be able to spot it in advance, and the Warriors might just happen to hit it, but it's kind of on luck at this point. So I don't think... Other than that, yeah, Marquis... How aware they are North Chilean G's... Okay, they're not that aware of North Chilean G's movements. North Chilean G is also similarly unaware. So both players kind of unaware of what the other one's going to do. On the Banshee, is that going to declose the Sneaky Pete? It does! The Sneaky Pete has been revealed! Not the Roaches alongside, but you have a Sneaky Pete. You're going to have Roaches. Okay, now the Roaches have been revealed. North Chilean G sees this coming, and the only problem is that it's still a cloaked unit. And these Roaches are about to waste all of themselves on this... Ooh, very close. Almost died to the Gremlin. Mark Hughes has better be paying attention to this, and it looks like this is going to end now. These roaches are going to... Dig a hole straight to the water. Five roaches all at once, wasted in a giant hole from North Chilean G seeing that coming. Memory of the roaches. What could have been? Although I kind of find it funny because... And Scott is pointing out, could have, could have split up the roaches. Well, they could have done it if they were trying to be a bit lazy, I guess. Because they clearly know how to use Circle Guard, they were just using it earlier. Would have been to use the Circle Guard functionality on the Roach with the Eraser. So the Eroaches just are constantly circling, either circling the Eraser, or... I think you hold... Control? While you're doing the Circle Guard thing, and then they stay in place. Like, they... They go along an even distance around the target. Like, around the Guard target, but they... They remain in one spot rather than circling. If... If Marquis had done that... They wouldn't have 
made this giant hole in the ground that is of dubious usefulness. And apparently does not receive shadows. Yeah, that's unfortunate. That's really unfortunate. So this... Giant hole in the ground that did not have to be. Now, Mark Eves, however, does still have a decent economy, but that was a lot of money they threw into that attack. The main hope they have going for them is that North Chilean G is wasting a lot of units, throwing a lot of reclaim at them. But Mark Eves is not able to really maintain a solid economic base. Yeah, see what I mean? It's like, these, they're circle guarding. They know how to use circle guard. That would have been perfect for the eraser with the roaches. Because then only one roach, would, one roach would have died at once. But I think what they wanted to do was rush into the main base and then just slam it with all the roaches and dig this giant hole inside of North Chilean G's main base with their commander and possibly the factories in range, blowing up the entire thing. That would have been cool to see. Too bad it didn't happen. So at this point, no outlaws, no other riot units. They have the Stardust there, which is probably going to die, actually. There are enough glaives that the Stardust doesn't really pose that much of a threat. And Stardust goes down, killing the commander in the process. Killed by its own dead Stardust. And that's basically game. Yeah, Marquise throws in the towel. Ouch. I mean, some clever stuff there, but it just didn't work. Still a pretty cool end there with the Stardust blowing at the commander. But yeah, that that was that. I mean, nice nice play from both players, though. I mean, that was really good coming in with the Vandals to lock down the gunship plant. And overall, I mean, that Bandit was pretty close to destroying the gunship plant, but at that point it didn't matter. However, the Roach play was cool. I, It's just, it's one of the things that's really hard to do well. It's really hard to do without it blowing up in your face. And digging a giant hole in the ground. As we saw just there. So yeah, that was... That game's not going to involve these two players. It's in fact going to be between... And this is the last replay for tonight, too. It's going to be between Ikens and Shaman on Ravage, so stay tuned for that. That'll be up in just a moment.